Hi, I'm Jake Tapper, CNN anchor, member of the Dartmouth class of 1991, and a member of the Presidential Commission on Financial Aid. Dartmouth College is extraordinarily fortunate to support an amazing community of Native American students who represent more than 70 tribal nations. Students such as Raylan Bark. Financial aid empowered this academic superstar to chart a new path, not only for herself, but for her entire community. I'm from Cherokee, North Carolina. Just as west as the state as you can get. Just always and has been Cherokee land. Raylan has always been the type of student who sets goals and then exceeds them, whether academics or high school varsity sports or the many titles she has held as a cultural ambassador for her tribe. Well, she's always just done big things. There's always more with her. In high school, I mean, she just let me know plain and simple that she wants to go to Dartmouth and go bigger. It is an Ivy League. It was obviously going to be like more expensive than like a state school. It was a little worrisome, but luckily, like when we read the financial aid package, like it was close to nothing. It just makes me so much more invested in Dartmouth because like, I know how big of an opportunity and how lucky I am. And it just makes me compelled to do better. What first drew me to Dartmouth was the Native community. <laughs> didn't really expect to go there and see the diversity in the Native community that I do that really drew me in and would give me that sense of home, especially when I was going to be so far away from here. Well, I feel comfort in knowing that she has a huge Native community up there for support. It was a good atmosphere and she was happy. With financial aid in her corner, Raylan has engaged enthusiastically and confidently in Dartmouth's rich academic life, majoring in Native American studies, modified with linguistics. Uh, Native American education. My favorite part is the Native American Indigenous Studies program. I really like that about Dartmouth. There's so much from like environmental studies to law classes and government. Dartmouth's extensive financial aid support will allow Raylan to start the next phase of her life without undergraduate student debt and free to use her Dartmouth education to pursue her inspiring dreams. The ripple effect of financial aid may just benefit her entire community. My main goal has always been to give back to my community. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's always gonna be coming back to this place. Sadly, not a lot of people here speak Cherokee. We only have, I think, 170 fluent speakers left. Cherokee language, this serves as a foundation to our culture. I want to come back and use what I learned in linguistics and just kind of expanding upon what we already have to make sure that Cherokee isn't going to be lost. Raylan is setting a great example for her siblings and for the wider community by attending Dartmouth. I know her possibilities are endless.